Well, it was about an hour ago in Springfield. This tower cam was a light show. We were seeing some lightning and a good amount of rain, but that activity, it moved out east and it shut down very quickly as that cold front just pushed across the region. Right now, we're finding temperatures 53 degrees, so we're on that warmer side of things, and the winds finally flipped to the northwest because now we're on the back side of that front, which has been stirring up some activity and causing some trouble here into the Ozarks. You can see this front when we look at regional temperatures. It's right in here. This kind of mix of this blue green line ahead of the front. Temperatures are still holding on to those 50s, the 60s back of it whole lot colder 26 in Minneapolis 32 in Omaha and that's what's pushing through a region and creating all of this activity all of this headache for a couple people here into the Ozarks you can see a good amount of moisture extending all the way from Michigan down into the Ozarks and then northern Arkansas where they're seeing the most activity right now they have a severe thunderstorm warning that's just started to push right across the state line from Oklahoma into Arkansas and it's mainly been a threat of hail in a few places of damaging winds. Thankfully, we have not seen any tornado reports, a few hail reports into our region as well, like Ava saw uh, about an inch hail that came in last night. Looking at radar, this is how things are shaping up right now. That front is placed just south of I-44. You can follow this diagonal right here. That's what's creating all this activity, creating the lift and squeezing out the moisture and creating thunderstorms in a couple places. In Phelps County, Pulaski County, we're starting to see activity up there. It's producing a good amount of rain, but really the most of that activity activity has been in northern Arkansas with some lightning attached to it. Estimated strikes 102 in the last 10 minutes. You can see the cell up here producing that lightning. You can see it in northern Arkansas as well producing that lightning and zooming in down there. We have a flash flood warning because well just south of Marshville they got radar estimated five inches of rainfall in a short period of time creating a whole lot of headaches and flooding down in there and you can almost see right in here the severe thunderstorm warning that's starting to creep into the Arkansas area as well that's moving east about 25 miles per hour that's capable of producing some hail heavy rain and thunder as well. The bulk of this rainfall and really all the activity has been east of Highway 65 people out to the west really haven't seen a drop it's just been in a system that's kind of had limited moisture over in that area in the front. It's going to keep things calm to the west. We can continue to see more activity to the east and to the southeast as the front is going to push through. I think that activity, it can linger for this morning hour. We really won't be safe and have it shutting down until we reach into this evening. That's going to be a good mix of sun and clouds for both Tuesday and Wednesday. And then more rain is going to be arriving on Thursday. And it's going to be a widespread rain event that we can see rain for Thursday, for Friday, for Saturday. It may all be the way until Sunday, guys, when we can start to dry out. Temperatures, though, we're going to be hanging around that 60 degree mark. I think Wednesday is going to be a little bit warmer than what we're going to get today. Upper 60s, but not too bad. Rain coming back on Thursday, guys. All right. Thank you, Matt. Well, turning